Uh, good evening. My name is Chris Carter, and I'm the executive director of the Livermore Valley Performing Arts Center. And I'm so pleased that you're here to join us tonight for our Vineyard Vibe series featuring the Livermore Amador Symphony. Um, the Livermore Valley Performing Arts Center has been in the Tri-Valley region for over 12 years now. We operate the Bankhead Theater, and we exist to serve this community through the arts. Uh, we're not able to have live performances right now here at the stage, so that's why we're bringing these performances to you at your home, and I'm so pleased that you're able to join us. Before we begin, I'd like to thank a few uh, key people that made this happen. First, I'd like to thank Advanced Creative the video production company that filmed all of this. I'd also like to thank Retzloff Vineyards, the site of where this was uh, performance was. I hope you're drinking a glass of Retzloff wine right now as we speak. And I'd also like to thank Uncle Credit Union for being our season sponsor. Uh, here at the Livermore Valley Performing Arts Center, we exist to serve this community through the arts. And uh, while you're watching this show, you can make a donation to the Livermore Valley Performing Arts Center, and you can also make a donation to the Livermore Amador Symphony. And the Livermore Amador Symphony has been around for a long time, over 50 years, and they have many performances right here on this stage, and they've been a great partner with us in the community. Uh, while you're watching the performances, Laura Weber, the director of the symphony, will uh, give you some more information about the two different uh, groups that are gonna be performing. So thank you, and have a wonderful evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us here at beautiful Livermore Retzloff Vineyards. It's incredible to be in such a wonderful, beautiful place and reunited with some of our musicians from the Livermore Amador Symphony Orchestra. My name is Laura Weber and I have the privilege of being the music director and the conductor of this Livermore institution that's been serving the Tri-Valley for 56 years. You just heard members of our brass section perform the Prelude to the Tedeum by Marc-Antoine Charpentier. And uh, soon you'll hear music by the great English composer Gustav Holst. I just want to tell you a little bit about, well, how much we've missed you. Uh, it's odd to be separated from our audiences in person, but we're taking great joy to be able to bring you music in these new ways, in these safe ways where we are physically distanced and outside. And uh, we look forward to returning to the Bankhead Theater, our beloved cultural centerpiece of this town and this community. We must work together to make sure that we're keeping the arts and music alive in our communities in new ways, so stay tuned. There will be more events like this and new ways of making music and listening to it together. I have the privilege of introducing their next piece, which is a work by Gustav Holst. It's a four movement work by a composer whose music that describes the planets is probably the most familiar to you. And you'll hear some familiar sounds in the way Holst writes for the brass instruments in this second suite in F major. It's based on really familiar English folk tunes that are uh, each of them a little bit different. The march is in three parts 
the middle part of it is a beautiful trombone solo with kind of a walking tuba punctuation underneath it. The second movement is a really lamenting, beautiful love song, a song without words. The third movement is a, it features a blacksmith. It's Song of the Blacksmith. And you'll see over there in the corner the fuel rod assembly from a nuclear, uh, nuclear, help me, lab, an uh, end cap assembly for a nuclear fuel rod unspent. Normally it's an anvil, of, of course, I have the privilege of playing that part. And the last movement is a jaunty, uh, sort of dueling, melodic, uh, playful dance uh, to bring a joyful conclusion to this music by Gustav Holst.
thank you guys. I'd like to take a minute and introduce you to this wonderful group, informally known as, let me get this right, the Wine Break Brass Quintet. Perfect for our setting. Uh, over here we have Chris Imasoda, who is the principal horn of your Livermore Amador Symphony. And the shield box, Diane and Marcus, the reason they're sitting so close together, of course, is that they are uh, betrothed and married. <laughs> they, uh, tr trombone and tuba. Here we have Robert Bryant on the trumpet, and our guest today is Rick Fleer, also on the trumpet. And uh, I, I can't tell you what joy it brings me. These are your neighbors, these are your colleagues, these are your uh, fellow Tri-Valley Livermoreans, and uh, our whole orchestra is composed of your community. We cannot wait to be back among you and to bring you this music again on the stages of the Bankhead Theater and the Bothwell and all around our community in the schools. And uh, we'll, we'll be coming to you in every other way we can uh, during the coming months. And we conclude uh, this portion of our program with a beautiful arrangement of just a closer walk with thee. Thank you. 
It's my great pleasure to welcome the Whirlwinds Trio, members of the Livermore Amador Symphony Orchestra, Marianne Beeler, our principal flute, Ava Langfeld, our principal oboe, and Christy Diggins joining us on clarinet. They're going to play a very beautiful piece, seven Appalachian melodies in seven short movements, all based on folk song, love song, dance rhythms of uh, American Appalachian tradition, uh, and composed by Alfred Leffler, who lived in Chico, California, and really was a, a, a powerhouse uh, violist, conductor, composer, who launched a chamber music festival in Chico that grew and grew and morphed all around the state into opportunities for many, many woodwind and brass players uh, and musicians everywhere. Uh, and tonight uh, we dedicate this performance to someone who really was one of the founding fathers of the cultural arts uh, heart and soul of Livermore itself, Walter Davies, who we lost recently, uh, just at the end of August. Uh, we're thinking of you, the whole Davies family, as our Whirlwinds Trio, featuring members of the Livermore Amador Symphony play Alfred Leffler's Seven Appalachian Melodies.
Thank you so much for joining us here at Retzloff Vineyards. Thank you to everyone here at Retzloff, to our wonderful musicians of the Livermore Amador Symphony, and to all of you for sticking with us as we explore new ways of reaching you through our community arts center, the Livermore Valley Performing Arts Center, and the Bankhead Theater. Thank you, Bankhead, for helping us reach our audiences, and thank you to all of you for continuing to support us during this critical time. We can't wait to be back with you.